Among the skyscrapers in Beijing's central business district in the Guomao area of the city, one in particular catches the eye. In this building that goes well beyond the conventional skyscraper style, two tilting towers are connected by a huge horizontal section in the air, creating an enormous space in the middle. The new work of architecture certainly distinguishes itself from the other high-rise buildings in the area, most of which look much the same. The unique appearance of a CCTV main building raises certain questions, usually three in particular. Firstly, what is that? Secondly, who decided to design a building with such a bizarre pattern? And thirdly, is this structure that seems to tilt in several directions at once really safe? These are questions perhaps best answered by the man who designed the building, a Dutchman by the name of Rem Koolhaas. Koolhaas is a world-famous architect who in the West is known as a pioneering architect who has always challenged European architectural traditions. This is the Seattle Public Library in the US. This is the Casa da Musica in Porto, Portugal. This is the campus center of the Illinois Institute of Technology in Chicago. This is the Provisional Gallery in London's Hyde Park. All these works of architecture were designed by Rem Koolhaas and his Office for Metropolitan Architecture. Rotterdam, Holland. Rem Koolhaas's Office for Metropolitan Architecture is located on the top floor of an ordinary seven-story building. In the spring of 2002, Koolhaas received a special letter. It was an invitation to participate in the design bidding process for the main building of the new CCTV site. As CCTV is China's national television network, the project immediately drew the interest of the Dutch architect. Beijing is a historical city, uh, and so uh, what I was looking at uh, in this book is simply the contemporary production of, of city in China. To follow up on its rapid business development, CCTV, China's largest television network and the one with the widest coverage and greatest authority, will construct a new headquarters building in Beijing's most prosperous business district, and it would be the most important landmark in the area. In the 1980s, CCTV's current headquarters in Fu Xinglu was listed among the top 10 works of architecture in Beijing. The 80,000 square meter building consists of a 136 meter main building, a program production building that is round in shape, and various affiliated facilities. From this one building, TV programmers provide services to the largest number of viewers reached by a single network in the entire world. However, in the new century, the existing space would be unable to match the demands presented by the ever-increasing number of programs being produced, and so it was recognized that moving to a new and much bigger site was a must for China's national broadcaster. In the prosperous new central business district of Beijing, what type of architectural design could represent the image and value of the national television network? After careful consideration, CCTV decided to issue a bid invitation worldwide. On April the 8th, 2002, CCTV launched its international bidding invitation for the design of the new site. And with that, the curtain was raised on a competition between a large number of first-class domestic and international architectural companies and architects. 
考虑到每家单位的他的这个以往的设计经验。呃，工程背景，呃，它的设计风格、地域特征，啊、呃，综合考虑了，最后呢，就选定了十家。Cool House never one to disappoint once again caught everyone's attention with a somewhat bizarre design style, but nobody could say whether his design would win the bid or not. Almost all the contestants had a number of famous works to their name. On July the 15th, 2002, the design competition for the CCTV news sites project entered the selection phase. Each contestant handed in their works in accordance with the requirements laid down in the bidding documents. When they saw the design miniatures, almost every member of the review committee became excited. How many panels? One, we just designed the scene after the scene. They were at the time. 哎，这个竞赛有点意思。就思考，就是这么巨大的一个建筑的思考的方式，和我们说这种呃或者常规的一种思考方式是不一样的一种思考方式。Although most of the entries had features that distinguished them from the others in one way or another, the one from May by pioneering architects Rem Koolhaas and his partner Ole Sheeran felt like a breath of fresh air. 毫无疑问，在那十个方案里。那个库哈斯的方案是最独特的一个，你从模型角度去看，就是非常独特。The design was an odd one, consisting of two inward tilting towers, an irregular cantilever in the air, and a huge empty space in the middle, through which one would be able to see the buildings and sky behind it. 就更加的夸张，更加的前卫，啊，更加的这个注重形象的冲击力，先锋的，甚至先进的。但是呢，它最大的问题是它有一定风险性，在技术上和这个使用上面，呃，什么抗震啊这些问题，它能不能经受住考验？这这些问题我们倒是比较关心。When faced with all manner of queries, Cool Haas showed complete confidence in the design. He said the design was not a piece of nonsense that had come about as a result of unrealistic daydreaming. He and his company had chosen to come to China and design a building for CCTV only after careful consideration. We assure him uh, that our intentions were good, yeah? that it was not simply Kind of foreigners who came into a country kind of ignore what the values of that country are, ignore the kind of opposition, ignore the intelligent、uh, architects who don't like what we're doing. I think that we were able to show that we were serious、uh, and that we were、uh, listening and that we appreciated、uh, a kind of dialogue. At the beginning of the year, when he received the bidding invitation from CCTV, Koolhaas felt deeply attracted to the project. He and his business partner Ole Sheeran soon realized that this was the best opportunity to learn about and enter China. The first moment、uh, I knew about it, I knew it was going to be for us.、Yeah? So I have personally kind of very strong instinct that that was going to to happen. China,、um, at this point, emerging as a strong economic power. But also with the、uh, award of the Olympic Games in 2001, a place that was really sparking with、uh, enthusiasm, and that we felt that this was a context that maybe、um, was much more futile to a positive sense in which architecture could contribute something to a development and to a process of change. In point of fact, almost every architect of note had made the CCTV project the target of attention. The planned new site was to be located in the central area of the CBD, which was not only the most active business area, but also a window through which Beijing was embracing the world. 
In this area, every inch of land was worth at least a gold coin. But CCTV had the power to provide as much as 187,000 square meters of land on which an architect could fully express his imagination. Rem Koolhaas found this highly attractive. However, when Koolhaas and Shirin arrived in Beijing, they realized they were facing the greatest challenge of their careers. Designing an office building for China's national TV station on the extended line from Chang'an Avenue in the heart of Beijing would entail difficulties beyond anything they had ever encountered. It was a huge challenge. I mean, it's a huge challenge kind of simply to do something so big in a kind of totally different culture where you don't really speak the language. I think it's really a series of challenges that uh, make this project uh, special in its own right. Um, it will be one of the largest buildings uh, ever built in the world. Its architectural configuration and its structural design um, is the, the second challenge. Programmatic diversity and specificity inside the building uh, all the functions of a highly technical demand of the TV station, I think, really mark uh, the challenge of the project. In May 2002, as soon as he returned to Rotterdam from China, Kuhl Haas held an urgent meeting with his designers at the Office for Metropolitan Architecture. In the crowded room, they discussed a tough problem. During their field investigation in Beijing, Kuhl, Haas and Sheeran had come to understand an important fact, namely, that in recent years the new central business district as the most rapidly developing area in Beijing had become one of the biggest construction sites in the world. All kinds of skyscrapers were rising one after another, so the problem was going to be how to distinguish the new CCTV building from all other tall buildings around it. At the beginning, it was suggested that they should design a higher skyscraper that would overwhelm the other buildings, but Koolhaas immediately put this idea aside. Koolhaas knew that all his competitors were famous for designing skyscrapers. Those competitors included SOM, the design team that came up with the Shanghai Jingmao building, Cesar Pelli, the designer of the Petronas Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur, and KPF, the designers of the Shanghai World Financial Center. Designing a taller skyscraper would not give them an advantage. And I think that uh, when we looked at the CBD of uh, Beijing, we saw uh, in the first rendering that it was going to be a collection of uh, many, many skyscrapers, independent towers. Uh, and so one of the first uh, ideas that we had was not to add kind of simply another skyscraper, but to try to reinvent the idea of the skyscraper in a different uh, way. Koolhaas and Sheeran changed their design concept. They decided to attach more importance to researching and analyzing the details stipulated for the project in the assignment book of the CCTV new site project. At the beginning of the bidding process, CCTV provided a detailed plan of the future new site. The construction of the new site meant not simply making a few changes and expanding the office space, but providing the ideal space in which the CCTV network would develop and innovate. 我觉得这里边体现了一个，就是一个决策者的一个一个雄心。我觉得这个雄心就是我们要改变，实际上改变恰恰是设计的核心。The new building needed to support a number of functions. News production, program production, and administration would all be taking place inside the one building. Koolhaas came up with a ring-shaped structure one which would allow for a continuous loop with different sections set aside for different functions. From there, Koolhaas came up with another bold idea. He wouldn't design the building in the regular square shape. In Koolhaas's design, the building is composed of two towers that are not independent towers but lean toward each other. The most astonishing part of the design is the huge cantilever in the air linking the two towers.
Inspired by their unique concept, Coolhaas and Sharon completed their design for the CCTV news site. The irregular ring-shaped skyscraper will contain the four main function areas, administration, news production, broadcasting and program making. To its north, there would be another independent tall building, the Television Cultural Centre. This would be made up of hotels, theatres, studios, restaurants and so on. Between the two buildings, there would be an open area which would function as a media square. Of the 10 entries submitted for the CCTV news site, the review committee unanimously considered Kuhlhaas's inclining ring design the most imaginative. The committee felt that its analysis and understanding of the media functions of the TV network and its rethinking of the traditional skyscraper were refreshing. Zhang 循环往复的生生不息的这样一个新系列的传递的过程。Over a period of several months, the review committee undertook a comprehensive analysis of each submitted design scheme in terms of function application, transportation organization, environmental design, and the overall layout of the new central business district. When the final result was released on December the 20th, 2002, it was announced that the design scheme from OMA had been accepted by the review committee by unanimous vote. Coolhaas and Sheeran had won. The committee was in there and said, thank you to the National Television Network, thank you to Beijing, thank you to China. This is a big national competition. 这就是中国开放的一个象征。那么另外呢,选了这么一个他认为比较独特的方案,也是就是说电视台的在这个整个的国家改革开放的这个大背景下的一种姿态和选择。In the eyes of experts in architecture, once the designers realized the result will not only be a symbolic work of architecture in the new central business district, but the one with the strongest visual impact. 我们说它很真实，而且勇敢，它不是那种很晦涩的那种建筑，它很有力量，它带给人的思思考可能是多元的，啊，但是呢，总的来它是一个向上的，啊，是一个前进当中的这样一种建筑。对建筑的一种表现